Fairgrounds Coliseum in Columbus, Ohio, we've got action from the Women's American Basketball Association. Tonight, we're going to take a look at the Dallas Diamonds 10-0 in the 1984 WABA campaign and the Columbus Minx, who come into this one at 5-2. So we're just underway in Dallas out of the gates in a real hurry. Lieberman from the corner cans a jump shot. Paula McGee on the breakaway scores. And the foul is committed by Corliss first quarter for Pam McGee. And here's Columbus cracking the breast with Crusoe. McAlilly now Bolin. Machine gun Molly. She has five. She simply can't argue with that. All she hit was net for WABA basketball action from the Fairgrounds Coliseum in Columbus, Ohio. Bowling all over Nancy Lieberman. The pass goes inside to Lori Scott. Scott against Hamilton. The turnaround here inside the lane and she finds the mark. Lori Scott with 10 points. 34-30. Columbus with the lead in the ball and here's Bowling. Three on one. She pulls up. Bolin's found the range. She's going to be unstoppable if she continues. You can't give her an inch because when she sees daylight, it goes towards the basket, and more often than not, it's going through. You know, since she's been on Lieberman, Lieberman's been pretty quiet. Lieberman now right side, looking for the inside pass. Shovels it inside in heavy traffic to Scott to McGee. Well, back up from his Christmas card list as well. Here's Bolin in the drive to the basket. Lieberman gets a hand in there. And a knee. And a body. <laughs> yeah. And Lieberman with her second. Bowling to the stripe. Let's take a look. I tell you, I saw blocks. There's the hand. There's, there's the, the knee. knee. <laughs> and there's the body. That looked like the Bears and Raiders today. Yeah, they get a name for that dance, and they'll make a million. 38-34. <laughs> is remaining second quarter play. On Dallas, uh, rather on Columbus's end, and two points lower on Columbus's end, so it's 36-34. This one narrowed up just like that, didn't just it? Just a little bit. Bolin with one. She has eight points. 53% for Columbus from the field in the first half. 56%. Dallas in the first half. Bolin's got a couple. She has nine. And now it's a four-point lead. Columbus, Dallas with the ball. It's Lieberman out front. To the right side, Scott. Now Jan Thomas. Here's Lieberman working against Bolin. Fall away jumper coming. Follow shot, JT. Jan Thomas with her first basket. She has four. Just like that, it's a two-point game once again. D.D. Polk out front. Lieberman finds Thomas. Right side, Lurie Scott. Smack back in the face of Bev Crusoe. Boy, she took a shot in the noggin. It was into Lieberman from Scott, and it came right back at Crusoe. You'll see it right here. Crunch. Purely accidental. Well, that will keep you know. awake, won't it? Certainly will. Hello. Inbounds now, and here's Lieberman working the right side. Bolin to the baseline. No further. Jump shot cupping, and Lieberman taps it off. To McGee, Paula McGee. The takeaway, and it's Crusoe. Now Hedges up the floor. Right side, Crusoe. Doesn't seem to have affected her shooting eye at all. No, not even accidentally. Right corner, that's Crusoe. Bolin down the lane, and it's tapped away Lieberman. Pretty good matchup, Lieberman against Bolin. Now they're playing takeaway on each other. Inbounds, Columbus, and here are the Minks. McAlilly, the turnaround, too hard off the glass. It's Hillard on the fly with the rebound, two on one. Jackson. Foul is called, Hillard, it's her fourth. Again, she couldn't believe that she was called, but Polk clearly planted the feet and she had position. Let's take a look with timeout on the floor. Hillard flying down, but Polk's right there. No two ways about it. That's a Inbounds, Columbus. Pacioni sends it inside. McAlilly, the takeaway, and coming up with it is Rodman. The steal here, though, double takeaway. Didi Polk. Here's Bolin, one dribble, the jumper. That's her spot on the floor. She's got her name on it. 11 points for Bolin, her first two of the second half. 17 seconds remain in the third. Crumpton out front. Up the floor, Molly Bolin. Jackson in pursuit, and the foul is committed. So as we start the fourth quarter, 
It'll be Bowman with the free throws and a three-point margin. Boy, this could have been dangerous. Certainly could. Bowman going up for the ball, but uh, Jackson doing the only thing she could, and that's just fouling with authority. Make her know you're there. Molly Bolin, a native of Moravia, Iowa. They call her Machine Gun Molly and Moravia Molly in that neck of the woods. She went to Grandview College in Des Moines, played in the old WBL, and now lives in Berea, California in suburban Los Angeles. It's a nice part of the world. You bet you it is. She's showing you why she has that nickname. Molly drops a couple. She has 13 and a five-point lead for Columbus. And here comes Dallas. This is Sharon save. Cassandra trumped it to you. Sossaman baseline. Rebound Chanel number five. Here's McAlilly working against Rodman from behind Jackson the takeaway. Columbus lead with 8.05 remaining. Fourth quarter play. This is Hiller. Crumpton down low. Lieberman looking for the turnaround. Crumpton again. She won't miss many. She has 10. Columbus tried to double team Lieberman and that left Crumpton open. 7.50 remains, a three-point lead. Columbus with the ball and the lead. Left side, it's Crusoe. Here's Polk. Molly Bolin. Turn around from long range, that's Hamilton. Polk underneath to Hamilton. Not this time. Bolin the rebound at the baseline. Working the baseline, Bolin. 15 points for Machine Gun Molly. I think we're seeing Columbus get emotional. They're starting to let the emotion take over, and they're just going to fly now. Bolin took the rebound, weaved her way along the baseline, smacked it off the glass, and here's Lieberman, the turnaround. Boy, an impossible shot. She has 13. That's can't, it. can't let her get too many of those because she'll spark Dallas. One of those pressure players. She just doesn't fold. Here's Dee Dee Polk out front. She'll slow it up. You can count on Columbus winding it down a little bit, but not this time. Molly Bolin. Nice touch off the fingertips. Just a nice spin. Machine Gun Molly has 17, and it's a four-point lead again, but answering for the Dallas Diamonds inside the lane. That's Paula McGee. And it's a three-point ball game at the two-minute mark. 86-83 here across the timeline is Beverly Crusoe. Now Polk to the top of the circle. She finds Bolin against Lieberman. Jumper coming. 19 points for Machine Gun Molly Bolin. Mike, there's really nothing you can say in that situation. Just let the picture speak for itself. But how about Paula McGee? She answers with a jumper of her own. She has 11. It remains a three-point spread with 97 seconds remaining. 88-85 Columbus with the Jan Thomas, the inbounds assignment. Here's Lieberman out front against Bolden. Looking for the back door with 60 seconds remaining. This is Paula McGee underneath to Lori Scott. The rebound is cleared. Who else? Janelle Hamilton. The collision out front, and it was Lieberman. Now, Lieberman did the right thing. She planted her feet on Crusoe, hoping that she could draw the charging foul, a smart move for Lieberman. However, she did bear down a bit close and she got the foul early with 59 seconds remaining. And I got Lieberman with three personals. Lieberman again. McGee from long range, indeed. Paula McGee has 15 points. 35 seconds remain. 90 to 89. Columbus with the lead in the ball. They'll take a little air out of the ball right here. The countdown continues. Caruso high on the right side. Here's Polk. Shot clock at five. Holden. McAlilly. Now Polk from long range. Air ball and the buzzer. Well, wait a minute. Yes, indeed. It did. So they'll bring it in bounds. The Dallas Diamonds will. And with 19 seconds remaining. It will be inbounds Dallas. I'll tell you, we're missing a bulb up on the scoreboard. You got 19 or you got 14? I thought it was 14 myself. And a timeout has been called. 
Good shot of our refereeing crew in this one. Nine. Count on a three-point shot coming up. This is Lieberman. And a foul will be called. Bad Russo with seven seconds remaining. So a couple free throws for Angie Pacioni to make it 92-89. And excitement here from the Fairgrounds Coliseum in Columbus, Ohio. You bet he was. Greg Williams gets out the ball point, and he's going to shake the Bible in the face of the guy in the striped shirt and say, take a look. That's what the good man says on the inbounds pass, and I, at this point, am in Greg Williams's corner because I didn't know that there was penetration past center court before the timeout. If there was not, you were allowed to go back. You certainly are. I didn't see the penetration either and was quite surprised at the call. She makes one of two. And a foul will be called underneath. Holden. Now you saw Lieberman make the first. She put some backspin on the second in an attempt to get the rebound. The rebound scramble and Holden commits the foul. It's her second. So there is life yet in these Dallas Diamonds with two ticks hanging on the clock. It's 92-90. Let's hold our breath for just one moment. Timeout has been called Columbus. Oh, my goodness. And here comes Greg Williams out on the court to show the holy writ. And he won't get an airing at this time. Now the free throw was missed by Laurie Scott on the free throw line. She gets one more. And you can count on her attempting to put some backspin on the ball to miss the free throw and to hope for a Dallas rebound and back in the air for two points to tie it and we go into overtime. Otherwise, this one's academic. That's right. And Greg Williams, again. Again, I'm not going to pass judgment on either referee, Harris or Sheldon, Dick Harris or Dick Sheldon, but I didn't know there was penetration past midcourt, which would warn an over and back on the inbounds. And so to the stripe again will be Laurie Scott. She had to make two to tie it with two seconds remaining. She missed the first, and you can count on her. Now, she has to at least, at least hit the iron. She cannot hit the backboard. She has to hit the iron. She does. Lieberman back in the air. There's your buzzer, and there's your final. And here's Greg Williams following off the court. Referee Dick Harris. The final score in this one. Columbus 92, Dallas with 90. Who would have thunk it? Dallas goes to 10 and 1. Columbus to 6 and 2, and Dallas falls for the first time in this, the inaugural season, the 1984 Women's American Basketball Association. We'll be back with a wrap up right after this. score every one of the 224,971 points in the NBA last year. The only ball to win every NCAA playoff game as well as the NCAA championship. The only ball destined to set every record in the new WABA. Spalding. We are basketball. 